Yes, uh, good morning to you indeed, Desiree. We are actually now here at the Bila Bila uh, police station where the bus uh, well, you know, was taken here. Uh, p passengers are here to open, uh, I suppose, the cases and police are supposed also doing that further investigation. You understand that some of the passengers obviously still need to make their way uh, back back to uh, Harare or end their journey, which was supposed to end in Harare. But you can see right behind me here, Desiree, this is the bus uh, where the shooting took place uh, in the early hours of this morning, I understand. But I am joined by one of the passengers here, and he's just going to, to tell me exactly what is it that happened, because he was on the bus when, um, you know, the shooting started. And also, I suppose, when uh, these gentlemen uh, boarded the bus at Bosman Station, we understand that they had uh, you know, boarded the bus under the pretense of, of, of passengers, uh, you know, at, at Bosman Station yesterday, because I understand that this bus left Bosman Station at about 12 midnight uh, today. Uh, this is when the bus started making its way uh, towards uh, Harare. But let me just talk to this gentleman here, Papa. Thank you so much for talking to us. Can you just tell us what, what exactly happened? I understand that you are a passenger on this particular bus. Hello, hi. Yeah. My name is Daniel. I was the passenger there by, by the bus. By the time when we passed the Manzole Way Bridge, that's when we hear gunshot from the car which was behind the, behind the bus. Then after that, there were two guys inside the bus. Those two guys, they go right to the driver and force him to what? Force him to come out of the way. That's when the driver swerved the bus out of the road then they shot two to three bullets to the bus from there they get inside the bus all of them they were they were having guns with them that's when they started to what to vandalize and taking people's money and cell phones so it takes a while something like about 15 to 20 minutes while they were taking what people's man and uh, unfortunately we have got uh, two lives of people who passed away all of them they are women so after that that's when they left after they left uh, there's another lady who was shot also but uh, lucky she didn't die she's alive so right now we are here by Bella Bella police station opening the case that's what happened. It happened at 3 a.m. in the morning. And also, you, you know, you spoke to me earlier on that there was another car that was actually tailing you. This was, I understand, the getaway car. Tell us about that. Yes, there was a car behind the bus. It was following the bus. That one, it was there was one driver on that on that car. Was he also armed? Yes, he was armed. Did he get into the bus at any point when uh, the driver swerved out of the road, as you said? Yes, he get inside the bus after the driver parked outside. So in, t in essence, there were three men that actually were robbing you on this particular bus uh, this morning? Yes, there were three men. Right. Thank you so much, uh, Daniel. Des, they've heard there that was uh, one of the passengers... Um, on, on the bus that, uh, you know, when this, this incident happened, you hear how he described that uh, when they got to that Mansolo Way bridge, you know, the, the bus driver being asked to stop by these two uh, false passengers, I suppose these are suspects, uh, that they both had guns, that uh, three gunshots uh, uh, went off, and uh, as part of that, two women were, were killed, one was injured, also saying that there was a car that was tailing them when he stopped, uh, you know, when the, the suspects demanded that he stopped. Uh, the, this car also stopped and uh, the driver of that particular car also armed, getting on, I suppose, to assist with that robbery that took place. The cell phone, um, you know, cell phones were taken from passengers as well as money. You know, it is the festive season, obviously, uh, Desiree. A lot of people having saved up uh, money to, I suppose, make their way home for the festive season. In terms of how much, uh, you know, can we account for in terms of what was stolen, we will uh, be trying to get to um, police to ask them in terms of the cases that were opened, what are they estimating, um, you know, the cash value of what was taken on these particular buses. But uh, the lady that was critically injured, I understand, is in the local hospital here. She was 
was taken to hospital. And um, <clears throat> also here we have also the daughter of one of the ladies that was shot uh, and killed by these passengers. Uh, you know, when trying to speak to her, Desiree, she's distraught, she's, she's crying, she's in no position, I suppose, um, to speak to anyone. So. We were unable to get her to speak to us, but we are going to be here, I suppose, unpacking what exactly took place there. Uh, you know, how far are police investigations in terms of, uh, you know, getting those suspects? Um, you know, did they use the N1 to go back to Johannesburg? Did they go uh, the opposite route? Where is it? Uh, you know, uh, are they, you know, are there any leads in terms of the whereabouts of these three men that um, accosted this bus and robbed and killed two women this morning? It's interesting, Masako, and I don't know if you've gotten any information yet as to why they particularly uh, targeted women. Mm, actually, yeah, that letter is actually very... You know what, Desiree, let's, let's bring in Daniel again. Perhaps he will be able to tell us. Daniel, um, in terms of the, 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 the ladies that were one that was shot and the two that were killed, was there a particular reason as to why ladies were the ones that were, were, were targeted? Did the men maybe try and fight off these robbers? What, what exactly happened there during the actual robbery? No, unfortunately, they didn't even fight, but they were just corresponding to what they say. Unless it, it was not their day, they couldn't make it. So these shots, were, were they random shots or did they specifically actually target these women when they were shooting or did the bullets just happen to go off in their direction? Uh, one bullet, ne, they were just shot as soon as they entered the, at the bus. That's when they shot another old lady right here by the left breast. So unfortunately, she did pass out same time. She couldn't make it. Then the other one, that lady, she was trying to take up what the face then she come across with what with the bullet. That's when she passed away. All right. Thank you so much, Daniel. As you've heard, there it seems like it was just uh, an unfortunate day for these um, three ladies that were shot, the two that passed away, as well as uh, the third one that was injured. He did. He does say that they were cooperating. You know, everybody was cooperating with uh, these uh, three men or three suspects that uh, you know accosted this bus and started robbing and I suppose shooting at uh, at passengers in in this particular bus. You can also see, you know, Desiree uh, in the front window as well. I think at the back as well. I saw. Uh, uh, two bullet, um, you know, two bullet um, exits where bullets have made their way through that particular part, uh, part of, 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 of um, the bus, Desiree. Okay, um, the other, Masako, the other question I wanted to ask you, I don't know if you've had a chance to speak to the bus officials, uh, just uh, in terms of cameras inside buses, if they have those for security reasons. Uh, when we, uh, you know, I went in the bus, I didn't see any cameras there inside the bus, but we, maybe, perhaps they were hidden, you know, so we're going to still have a conversation with uh, police in terms of what is it that they found. But I suppose also uh, try and see if we can actually speak um, to, to the bus driver if he has that permission to speak on behalf of uh, the company or if we can actually find uh, the bus owners and see if they can actually give us an idea of um, the security features within the bus, if any, uh, Desiree. But I think uh, as part of the police investigations, it would be also maybe very interesting to find out if indeed the car was um, trailing them and it was following them from uh, Bosman, you know, the various toll gates as you go, um, as you go through the toll gates. Uh, is there any form of uh, cameras there that maybe they can use to first identify this car as well as identify the driver of that particular car, Desiree?